Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, we are opening up another box of Harry Potter trading cards. Now, this set is called the World of Harry Potter 3D Trading Cards. It was kind of a special edition and has a mixture of all eight of the movies in this box. Now, here's what's exciting. I have a second World of Harry Potter 3D Trading Cards box. These are identical sets. And what's fun is we're going to do a back-to-back -back video series. So on Tuesday, you will see the second box opened up. Are you... Kidding me! I thought about doing both in one video, but that would be a really long video. Now, also coming in the future is the World of Harry Potter 3D Trading Card Set Series 2. So this is a second series that they released. I only have one of these boxes, but this will be coming in a future video. All right, now we have to pick which one we're going to open today. How about this bottom one? As you can see here, I have my trusty close-up camera to show you the cards as we pull them, and hopefully we will pull some costume, prop, and autograph cards. But the first step is to break the seal of this box. The seal has been broken. Here is the front of the box. The side. It is one of 4,000 boxes. So this is box number 2,054 out of 4,000 boxes available worldwide. And on the back it says, what to collect in this magical Harry Potter 3D trading card set. There are 3D base cards, rare 3D puzzle cards, foil frame 3D cards, ultra rare silver etched frame 3D cards. That sounds really cool. Foil frame 3D box toppers, one per box. There will be one in here. Autograph cards, costume cards, and prop cards. And those are all randomly inserted into these boxes. Here's what the box would have looked like in the store if you went and purchased a pack or a box. And check out this box topper card. Love this. This is like the perfect card for me. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And he's about to stand on his broom to catch the snitch. This is what the packs look like. All right, here we go. Please send all of the magic that you can so that we pull an autograph card or a prop card. I've yet to pull a prop card from these cards. Okay, these are awesome. Holy cow. They're like all 3D. It's like every single card is 3D. Oh my gosh, look at this. Harry in the Chamber of Secrets. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see the 3D effect super well on on video, but this is really cool. Like these are 3D cards. What is this? Is this like a, no, I don't think it's like a special card. Oh, it is a special card. PZ3, what does that mean? PZ. Oh, puzzle, puzzle three. So we got a puzzle piece, a 3D puzzle piece. Let's put that aside and we'll see how much of the puzzle we can create. Since there are two boxes, we may get lucky and be able to create the entire puzzle. If you are new to this trading card series, welcome. You can check out those other videos. I unboxed some really rare autograph cards and pretty much lose it when I pull them. That's a fun one. Aw, Dobby. These are cool cards. Man, I wish the effect would show up on camera better than it does. Now I do want to mention that just like the other videos where I unboxed these cards, there is a giveaway, so check that down below in the description. Flying Keys, Professor McGonagall, Draco Malfoy. What's this, another puzzle card? It is puzzle number seven, so we're gonna put this aside by Hermione. Let's take a look at the back of these. Now there isn't really any information about the card itself on the back, whereas in past sets, like there was a little write up here and also a description at the base in gold foiling. Here it just says Harry Potter. I am super impressed with these. And I think I'll be even more impressed if we pull an autograph. Now I'm curious if 
the autograph cards are also 3D like this. Or if they're flat. There's something in here. I don't know what it is, but there's something that looks a little bit different from the others. Oh, it's a, I think it's a foil card. Dun, 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 dun. So what is this? Is this, wait, is this one of those super rare cards that it was talking about? Let's look at the box. Let's go through these and look at the box and see what this says. I think this is one of the foil frame cards. It's not one of the ultra rare silver etched cards. And we see that rainbow foil frame surrounding Professor Quirrell. Oh, I think there's another one. I can see another foil frame. Dun dun dun. We have Tom Marvolo Riddle. This is number three out of six. This card is very fun. The Wizard's Chess. Ron and Harry. Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom. Another Dobby. Nice, another puzzle card, one that we did not have. And this is number nine. There's something in here. I'm getting very nervous. <laughs> you never know when something is gonna, oh, that's what it was, okay. It's just a checklist. Oh, I thought it was something special. Oh, this is a fun one. Marge! That was scary. I thought that we had pulled something. Just a checklist. Peter Pettigrew? Oh, that's a fun card. Beautiful. Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Okay, there's something else. Oh my goodness, we got something. <gasps> We pulled something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's costume. I don't know if it's a prop or a, an autograph card, but there's something in here. It's pretty thick. So it's probably like a costume card. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, oh no, I, I think it's one of those silver foil cards. Whoa. And they said these are ultra rare. An ultra rare silver etched foil card. It's definitely etched. And this is number three of those cards. I wish they numbered them and told us how many there were, but according to the box, this is an ultra rare card. There's something else. There's something else in here. Oh, it's another, no, there's something else. There's, some, there's something else that's white. I think it's another one of those ultra rare silver cards. Oh no, this is a normal foil card, but it's one that we did not have. This is number five. Keep sending that magic. We have got to pull an autograph. I will literally freak out if we pull an autograph. Now we've unboxed four of these trading cards before and we have pulled three autograph cards. Three autograph cards out of four boxes, which is Fantastic, and then a lot of costume cards, but no prop cards yet. Oh, I love this one. We have yet to pull a prop card. So that's really my goal, unless it's like one of the really famous actors or one of the trio that have autographed a card. I would love to see a prop card. That's a great card. Another puzzle piece card, and that's number five. You have the Hogwarts crest on there. Well, there's something back here. Yes, autograph, we pulled an autograph. It's Cornelius Fudge. Oh my gosh, we pulled an autograph. It's not 3D, but that's okay. I like that these autographs are not 3D. And this was hand signed by Robert Hardy, who plays Cornelius Fudge in the Harry Potter films. Congratulations, you have just received an authentic limited edition autograph card that has been personally signed by Robert Hardy, who played the role of Cornelius Fudge 
in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. He also played Cornelius Fudge in the other films. This is the fifth box and the fourth autograph that we've pulled from these boxes. And it's not guaranteed that a box will contain an autograph card. That's what's been so amazing and magical about these unboxings is that we've pulled four cards, two of which have been ultra rare, one of which was a double signed card. I'm gonna just put this right here so that we can see it. Well, another successful box. Let's see what else we can pull from this. The Triwizard Cup. Now the only negative to these cards being a different style than the autograph cards or probably the prop cards is that you can tell when you've received something once you've opened up the packet. Now, I don't know if it's possible to pull multiple autographs in a box, but I guess anything is possible. You're coming down to the last cards. Another puzzle piece. Did we get this one already? No, this is a new puzzle piece. So we have five puzzle pieces already, which is awesome. Four packs to go. What are we gonna pull? Send that magic, guys. We want to pull a prop card for the first time and prop cards seem to be a lot more rare than costume cards. And actually autograph cards too. I mean, if we pulled four autograph cards in five boxes and not a single prop card yet, I think they're pretty darn rare. This is the second to last pack. Send some magic. All right, here we go. The final pack. The final chance, something's in here. <gasps> something thick. Oh, is there something in here? It might be another one of those frame cards. But come on, let's hope for something magical. Come on, give me a prop card. Please, please, please give me a prop card. Here it is. Oh, it's a costume card, but that is awesome. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. It's Ron or Hermione's costume from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, this Harry Potter costume card contains authentic costume material worn by Emma Watson as Hermione Granger in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. We pulled another Emma Watson costume card. I'm assuming these are her pants, her corduroy pants. Oh my gosh. This is 362 out of 400 worldwide. The last pack, and we pull a costume card. Not just a costume card, an Emma Watson costume card. One of the trio. I say it every video, I love these cards. I like that the autograph cards are not 3D, but these costume cards, the 3D definitely fits. We pulled what they call an ultra rare silver etched frame card, an Emma Watson costume card, and a card autographed by the Minister of Magic himself, Cornelius Fudge, played by Robert Hardy. I think my favorite card is this one right here because it's one of the trio. Let's see how much of this puzzle we can make since we do have five pieces. So this is probably the base here. And then we have this. But I think Ron might be the center. So I think that might be what we have so far. But what's exciting is we have this other box to open up. So we may pull the remaining four cards that we need to complete this puzzle. So there you go. We pulled another costume and autograph card from these incredible trading cards. A lot of you ask where I get them. I bought them off of eBay. Don't forget about the giveaway. I will be giving two partial sets of 3D cards to two of you guys. And you never know. I may include some of these frame cards. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or Harry Potter collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting.
Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?